Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Steve Center. Welcome, everyone. It's great to be here today to share the latest news from Kia in two of the most exciting areas of our business, SUVs and EVs. Those of you that know me know that I spent a lot of time working on electrification. It's a subject I care a great deal about. Kia's purpose has never been so clearly defined. Our commitment to our vision to become a sustainable mobility solutions provider is rock solid. To put it simply, Kia is all in. All in on being a full line brand, all in on SUVs, all in on electrification, and Kia is off to a strong start this year. We continue to gain market share throughout the recently wrapped first quarter. And despite the ongoing industry challenges, Kia posted its second best first quarter performance ever. A key driver for Kia is our tremendous growth in the EV space. In its second month in showrooms, EV6 sales jumped 49%, and our supply cannot currently keep up with demand. Our electrified models delivered their best ever quarterly performance, exceeding the previous best by 70%. And in a remarkably short time, we've become number two in electrified vehicle sales in the nation. It's all bringing us closer to celebrating our 10 millionth Kia customer toward the end of this month. The major factor behind this momentum is, of course, great products. Products that put Kia in the number one overall spot in this year's J.D. Power Vehicle Dependability Study. The debut of the new Sportage PHEV continued our momentum, bringing another electrified choice to our award-winning SUV lineup. Sportage is vital to our growth in America's fastest-growing vehicle segment, and the key products supporting Kia's Plan S strategy to lead in sustainable mobility. We're all in on becoming the world's top EV automaker by growing our global lineup to 14 electric vehicles by 2027. Kia will do that by launching at least two BEVs per year starting next year, including the concept EV9 midsize SUV. It's ambitious, but in less than two years, Kia has developed into a leading EV brand while also delivering its highest ever revenue and operating profit in 2021. We're leveraging these successes by making significant investments to keep the product coming and create American jobs in the process. In February, Sportage began production at our manufacturing plant in West Point, Georgia. We're also stepping up production in Georgia to meet the demand for a vehicle that I can say confidently is a smash hit, the Kia Telluride. 75% of Telluride buyers are new to Kia. They're amongst the youngest in the segment, and they're willing to pay as much as $3,000 more for Telluride than they would for a typical midsize SUV. So we're expanding production of Telluride by 20% to build up to 120,000 units a year. And we're not stopping there. We're already making the best even better, earlier than usual in a vehicle's product cycle. Ladies and gentlemen, the new 2023 Kia Telluride. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Tom Kern. Good 
Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. I'm so excited to share how we refined our award-winning SUV flagship without changing what customers love about it. Telluride carries on with an upscale, commanding appearance. The new grille introduces more rugged dimensional shapes, and it's flanked by new 100% LED lighting. The lower fascia emphasizes Telluride's off-road credentials. Along the side, the cladding has been updated, and up top, we've added a bridge-type roof rack. There's a strong beam insert added to the rear bumper and clear outer lens on the iconic taillights. Telluride will also feature an entirely new lineup of wheels. Inside, the update is transformational. With nearly 25 inches of curved display, Telluride is more high-tech than ever. And the new full display mirror is a first for Kia. With this, you have the option of using it as a regular mirror or switching to a view from Telluride's rear camera. For 2023, Telluride offers standard Wi-Fi hotspot and a comprehensive suite of advanced driver assist systems, including new intelligent speed limit assist and forward collision avoidance as standard features. Highway Driving Assist 2 is a new available technology that not only allows you to set the distance and speed from the vehicle ahead, it helps you remain centered in your lane, manage speed through curves, avoid collisions, and safely helps you change lanes. Now, one of the most exciting updates for Telluride is the addition of our X-Line and X-Pro models, an enhancement our customers have loved on the Sorento and the new Sportage. For the Telluride, X-Line introduces exclusive trim details, including the grill, X-Line emblem, and body color door handles. Special raised roof and 20-inch wheels give X-Line a more aggressive appearance, a clue to its added capabilities thanks to 10 millimeters of additional ground clearance and improved approach and departure angles. And X-Line's tow mode ensures that drivers can make most of its 5,000 pound towing capacity. Inside, exclusive seat patterns set X-Line apart. Now the X-Pro builds on the X-Line content, swapping out the 20 inch wheels with 18 inch wheels and aggressive all-terrain tires. X-Pro also lifts towing capacity to 5,500 pounds and provides upgraded traction control system. Now, as Steve mentioned, SUVs aren't the only thing Kia is all in on. We're also committed to leadership in EVs. Since 2017, we've offered the most approachable, electrified choices for our customers with the Kia Nero. And that journey continues today. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Russell Wagger. Good morning, everyone. The all new Nero is everything we do well at Kia. Hybrid, plug-in hybrid, and full electric. Whichever our Nero customers choose, they will enjoy exceptional electrified performance and efficiency. 
The EV delivers up to 253 miles of an all-electric range and charges from 10 to 80% in under 45 minutes. The hybrid gets a best-in-class 53 combined miles per gallon and almost 600 miles of range. And the plug-in hybrid delivers over 30 miles of pure electric range, 25% improvement over the outgoing model. Just like EV6, Nero EV has an onboard power generator for items such as an air compressor or coffee maker. Hybrid models offer a green zone drive mode that uses navigation data to maximize EV driving based on location, such as in residential areas or near schools. Being a leader in electrified choices isn't the only thing that makes this vehicle stand out. With its unique size and combination of features, Nero is literally in a league of its own. It offers best-in-class spaciousness in almost every dimension and class-leading cargo volume. The Habanero concept inspired the Nero's new design, including the optional two-tone aero blades that rise up from the rear wheels to form the C-pillar. They manage the flow of air around the rear of the vehicle for better aerodynamics and fuel efficiency, and really make the Nero stand out. Nero's face looks ahead to the future with a horizontal tiger nose that extends through the fender, and high-tech projector headlamps with our signature Heartbeat DRL. The Boomerang LED taillights also make a bold statement. Under the hood the, of the EV model, there's a covered storage compartment that can hold a charging cord or a backpack. And for the first time on Nero, we offer a smart power lift gate, which you can set to open automatically as you approach. The taller roof line gives Nero a distinct CUV stance and features roof rails that emphasize its capable image. Our hybrid and plug-in hybrid models complete the more aggressive look with sporty 18-inch wheels. Inside, horizontal and diagonal forms create a sense of movement. As you'll see on most of new Kia models, there are two seamlessly connected screens. And below that, a touchpad cleverly combines the controls for climate, or your premium hardened carton audio. The center console features a high-tech appearance with a horizontal design. The EV gets a simple, space-saving dial shifter that is effortless to use. And all three models have a large storage compartment that transforms into a pair of cup holders. The slim seats are made from lightweight Giga Steel and designed solely for EVs. They're also heated and ventilated. As with all Kia EVs, our interior materials are 100% vegan. The headliner is made of recycled wallpaper. The door panels use BTX-free paint. And eucalyptus leaves are used in the production of the seat material. Of course, a future-focused vehicle like this offers all the features you need for your high-tech lifestyle, including a heads-up display, wireless charging pad, and USB ports in each front row seat back. Plus, Nero offers Kia Digital Key 2.0, which allows you to use your Apple Watch or iPhone or Samsung Galaxy smartphone to unlock and start the vehicle, or grant someone else access, even if you're 100 miles apart. It's as simple as sending a text. In terms of safety features, our DriveWise Intelligent Advanced Driver Assistance System comes standard. And Highway Drive Assist 2 from the new Telluride is also available on Nero. Put it simply, the Kia Nero is all in. And you'll see it in dealerships in all 50 states in early fall. And one last thing, I'm excited to confirm that the production version of the Concept EV9 will go on sale in the US in the second half of 2023. And we hope you'll all be in with us tonight at our Nero-inspired reception 
which starts at 4 o'clock, just around the corner. Please stop by and say hello. Have a great day at the show. Thank you.